Think about the cockeye. Are you ready? You ready, Paul? Let's go look at it from outside. So we're gonna walk out here and take a look at it. We still got a long ways to go. We're gonna watch that one board. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do is just push it up and then see what happens. We'll try and get it straightened out the best that we can. Well, it's nothing nowhere near as bowed, but still got a long way to go. Uh, me and Paul are loving this. This is fun. You just never know. See that board right there? I think we're good. I'm not sure though. Looks like we're just barely missing that board right there. All right. Hey, actually, you're doing. You no, know, you went halfway with that. Yeah. Big time. You can tell right there. We're close to that up. Yeah. These two right there, you close it. We gonna keep going. We gonna keep going with it, Paul. I don't know how much it came down, but oh, I think it came all back all the way down to where it was started. It came all the way back down to where it started. That was like a, a nut or something. That beam, I need to get those beams together up there. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a mission. We're going to, I'm Paul gonna go to Sledgehammer. I'm gonna readjust the loader in here to where I can get right in the middle there and then uh, push up on it and see, see how that works. But uh, yeah, a bit of a mission. So I've repositioned the loader. We'll wait till Paul gets back. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what happens. Yeah. This is kind of a figure it out as we figure it out. <laughs> okay, we're back. We got everything we need, we think. I'm gonna set you all up right here. And uh, me and Paul, you see how Paul, Paul likes to laugh and have a good time as well. Me and him love it out here. And uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, see what happens. That's okay. All right, we got it. We're lifting it up. We're seeing how well it does. It's a bit scary hearing a bunch of cracks and stuff, but we're trying to get it even back out. And then we got to figure out what we got to do to try and hold it together so when we take the weight off of it, it will stay. Oh yeah, wow, it's way better. I think we should probably just leave it at that. It had a bow in it before, but I don't know. I think we're doing a lot better there, bud. So we're discussing it's about the way it was. It had a bow in it when it was built. We're gonna go and assess it a little bit more and then uh, maybe go up another inch and then figure out what we can do with, I gotta climb up on the tractor and I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta figure that out still, so. But uh, we're getting closer to having it the right height. See that beam right there? I gotta get that fixed. See that. So you gonna lift it up? Yeah, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit more. You wanna stay right there? I ain't scared. Right. I actually get excited on I that. I know, it's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna 
smack that beam with the hammer. All right, Paul says, hey, I'm hitting the hammer. She says, he's already up there. All right, I'm coming up. Oh, you coming up? Then. Well, just to good, good, good. see. Right. And then that way, if you fall, we both fall. Then we all fall. Well, my equal, I don't have my equal. See, so this was my. Right, yeah. well, then. And I used to be a monkey on a damn string. All right, so what I want to do I is see you get this back on that side of that beam. You going what now? Um, yeah, see how this has all been ripped, ripped over this way? This is... I want to yeah, try it. it, it you th oh, well, hold on. Well, that just moved it over right there. Did it? So me and Paul have been mucking all around this. Oh, uh, no, I don't. Well, yeah, I guess I can use that one, too. I got that sledgehammer. <laughs> I got this big crowbar. And I got to get up there. I got to try and pry that. So hold on. You're going to lift it up. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to try and. Yeah, let me go into that first, see what happens. I'll just shut up. <laughs> Smack a little bit more. Get the drill. We'll see what we come up with. Okay. So let me, let me try to tighten some more. Can you guys see? Tighten these up as tight as we get them. Tighten them, get them now. Yeah. And then uh, we'll take the weight off and see where we're at. You guys see all that? Hopefully I was in the shot. I don't know. I guess I'll check it later. Okay, we just got done. We're gonna set you guys up outside so y'all can watch and see how much the roof comes down. As you've seen, a lot of those bolts were you know, pulled loose from it. So hopefully got up in the place, got it tight enough. And uh, I got a feeling it's gonna look a lot better now from the outside, but uh, we're going to uh, see right now as to how well it looks. And then uh, I'm gonna set you guys up here, zoom you in. And, You'll get to watch. Oh, Cozon, we're there, buddy. That's exactly how it was when we built it. I remember that little bow. All right. I'm going to go loose and let it down. Stay strong. Just get out here and watch it. Don't stay in front of the camera, though. Actually, I think I can do this one. Yeah, I won't do that. Oh, that looks pretty damn good. That looks better than it was. So yeah, it was looking good. We just gotta figure out how to keep it like that now. So uh, I guess tighten it wasn't it. We're going to figure something else out. So the next thought is I'm going to go ahead and lower it all the way down. I'm gonna put the bucket right on the two beams in the middle and push up right from the middle. I might try and push from another beam. I'm not sure just yet. We'll just kind of see what we can do to kind of do what we need to do, which is what we don't we don't really know what we need to do actually. <laughs> So it's not working that well as planned, but we're going to put it on the other beam and uh, try one more time and then reevaluate. Got it? No, 
Z works. This, this whole top piece is about ripped off. So let me hold this top piece on. This little piece of metal right here. So I gotta get this wedged against that. Or we're kind of a bit of a predict. Like a YouTuber. You what? Now you're like a YouTuber climbing around with your camera. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'm just being a little Watch careful. Grease. I got it. I saw that grease. All right, we made it up top. All right. So Paul's going to lift me up. I'm going to see what happens as he goes up with it. All right, try it. Okay, slow down, slow down. We're looking good. A little bit more. So you got the gap right there. All right, hold it. All right, we got the gap. Now it's good. All right, so here's what we got going on. Got to, I'm gonna try and bend this back. I'm gonna get this bolt out, bend this back, and maybe bolt them together up top. And that might be able to hold a little bit of drill hole. But uh, hoping that will. Work. Whoa, my face. <laughs> I want to do that. I'll wait till I get some. I'll wait till I get this out first. All right, well, the battery's dying, but uh, I'll just have to show you the end result. I barely got any battery left, but I've drilled another hole. We're going to bolt them together up top here, tighten all this up. And then uh, hopefully I'll pull this over and then we'll uh, let her down and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Well, while you guys are charging up and resting, me and Paul were at it pretty hard, man. A lot of banging, a lot of clanging, a lot of finger busting and knuckle busting. Uh, I was able to bend it around, drill some new holes, put another bolt in it. It's not quite the perfection. Now, when we built this thing, it had a little bit of a bow in it to begin with. So we're about to spin you around to show you. I can still go over there, push up about two inches and then weld it. But we don't want to break out the weld or anything because it's the end of the day right now. But are you ready to see it? One, two, three. Oh, okay, there it is. Definitely a lot better than what it was. So you see the little the hump, the hump, the little dip. There was already one in there. And you know how you can tell? You can go back and watch the old videos when I built the thing with Tim. So till then, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the all notification bell. That way you know each and every time I post a new video. Uh, I got to leave the chat, man. I'm kind of bummed. But anyway. Stay tuned.